Good morning everyone and welcome to STEAM Saturday. I'm your host Miss Laura and today we are going to be making bubble art. Today's program is brought to you by the Pasco County Library System and the New River and Hugh Embry Libraries. Here's what we need. We are going to need a couple of bowls to put our bubble solution in. I have ready-made bubble solution. You can use dishwashing liquid to make your own bubble solution if you like, if you don't have any. A couple of pieces of paper, a bubble wand, and to color I have some food coloring. I'm also going to do an experiment with some paint, some washable paint, and I'm going to try some watercolor paint. I'm also going to do a little experiment on bubble science and for that I have made my own bubble wands out of straws. I just cut them and used some sticky tape to make a triangle and a, a sort of a square rectangle shape because I've heard that bubbles like to be round. Apparently round or spherical which is a three-dimensional round like that is the easiest shape for a bubble to make it requires the least amount of energy so we're going to see what happens if I try and blow a non-round bubble first things first I need to very carefully put some bubble solution in each of my bowls. Okay, now this kind of art is what's called process art. What is process art? Process art is when you take, you make a piece of art and the process of making it is as fun as the actual end piece. I'm going to get a good amount of bubble stuff in my blower here and I'm going to blow a bubble. Now I'm going to try, I'm going to see if I can get a square bubble, because we've seen I've got round. These are gorgeously round. Now let's see if I can get a square. Okay. Oh. Did you see that as it was coming off? Instead of being square, it went straight into a circle. Let's try that with the red and my triangle. Let's see if I can get a triangle bubble to come off. <gasps> you had to have seen that. That was definitely a sphere, a sphere or spherical. I'm gonna try this again. This is cool. <gasps> Definitely round. Wow, I did not know that you cannot blow other shapes. At least it's very, very hard. I wanna try some of this other paint. Try this fancy end here, see what that works out. It has left some blue for sure. So I think the paint will definitely work. 
And now let's try my watercolor. I want to give you guys lots of options. I wonder if this will be too faint. Watercolor might not have enough pigment in it. Watercolor's a little bit <clears throat> watery. That's kind of a pretty pink color, I think. So let's see if this is gonna work. Maybe if I added more watercolor paint to that. But that gives you the idea of what we're going for here. I love this section right here. I think I'm gonna have fun blowing some more bubbles and adding some more almost perfect circles. That circle there is like perfect. I hope you guys have fun with some process art and exploring the science of bubbles as you blow some colorful bubbles and make some bubble art. And if you do create some uh, wonderful pieces of art, I would love to see them posted on our Facebook page. And I will see you again really soon. Bye.